Now, PFDs, on the other hand, they will show you the relationship between the major components. You know, they're going to go in detail to show you the composition of the fluids going in. I don't know if you can see this. Let me zoom this in a little bit. Um, 93. Okay, so you can see here you have a fire heater. You have another fire heater, but between both of them, we have a fixed bed reactor, and they're telling you the temperature that it operates at. So, it's, so the process flow diagram is going to give you more about conditions, the ratings, you know, um, the interconnectivities that can go on from here. You know, you can go go to the cooler, and then you can also still go to the heat exchanger, and then bypass, and all these conditions are actually well stated. Pressure conditions, you can see the compressor is telling you that between 5 to 45 atmospheres. What fluid is in this recycle stream, right? Okay, sometimes the temperature conditions and then the process control valve, sometimes they just indicate to you. So a little bit more detailed and they actually use diagrammatic representations of it. Like now we know if we see something like this, we all know it's a reflux drum because of how the symbol is always going to look. So process flow diagrams are mostly what's used. Um, when clients, for instance, I work for a consulting company and we were evaluating the relief valve systems for, their, for that field, the petrochemical plant. And this is all they provide us with, the, the PFDs, right? And then we have to kind of figure out what um, safety, safety consideration around that control valve that we're trying to evaluate. And then we're going to do our calculations based on that, right? So this typical representation of a distillation column with all the plates inside, right? These are actually awesome to look at. They're way awesome than PNIDs because PNIDs, you have to know what symbols mean what. What the lines even mean, you have to know what that means too. So those are pretty annoying sometimes. Okay. So for the PNIDs, um, P, piping and instrumentation diagram, they use specific symbols to basically show the connectivity, right? So like we talked about, those ones you have to pretty much either you memorize or you go to your manual and kind of see that, okay, when is this equipment? This is the symbol. When is this valve? This is the symbol, right? So the following section here, we just kind of like, just remember I told you that PNIDs and PFDs, they always ask questions on that. They want to, they want to see if as a chemi, we can differentiate that. And of course they're going to want to ask you the one that is the harder one, right? The one that is not visually apparent to you is the one that they're going to want to ask more questions about. Pretty obvious for the NCC guys, right? So the PNID, it has more information regarding, in my opinion, the peripheral systems, right? It's going to tell you more about the piping and safety valve and and if there's controllers somewhere in the system, it's going to show you more about that. It's going to tell you more about the minor peripheral things in the system that, I mean, we need to know them and they're important for safety, but it's just going to clutter the whole PFD diagram. So that this would not show that. This is going to exclude minor piping components that are not really crucial, right? Um, it just tells you exactly what the process does. It doesn't need to tell you that this drum is 100 feet up from the um, distillation reboiler. It doesn't have to tell you that. It just shows connectivity, relationships, process conditions, as the name implies, right? Operating conditions it shows. Then the PNID, of course, does not show that, right? As the name implies, it's piping and instrumentation. So anything that has to do with the instrumentation, um, material of construction, most times I've seen I've seen some that have material of construction on them. I mean, especially when it's relevant to the analysis, right? But most PNIDs I've seen are more controller dominated. Or oh, this control valve going here and this valve type, and and all this minor. It shows all those piping. How the the angle of the of the connection is it 45 degrees? Is it 90 degrees? All those type of stuff. It goes into details of that. 